I'm going to be talking about how to build the cheapest micro FPV setup for about $35. Uh, what all you need here is a video transmitter, a dip switch to select the frequencies, a camera. This is a 600 VTL camera. Uh, I'm using a circular polarized antenna. And uh, this is a polo loop voltage regulator. So it's a it's a simple connection. I I put a lot of uh, liquid tape on it, so I won't be able to show you how I made it. But because a lot of people were asking me how, asking me for all the links to the to the parts and how to build this, I just thought I'd make a small video to show you how it looks, and I'll put all the links in the description. I'm using this on the micro H frame. Uh, with the Hubson FC, I'm kind of bored now. I need a I need a Acro on it, so I'll probably use a different FC or a Beef FC, Nano Q Nano QX FC or something like that in the future. And I'm using the CL15 more uh, CL15 motors here from Micro Motor Warehouse. It's pretty good. I'm loving it. And uh, this it's pretty simple connection, pretty straightforward. Uh, so to the you just connect the camera, basically the positive goes to the positive here and then the negative from the camera goes to the negative here. The, the yellow wire which is video goes to the, the video out on the transmitter. And the dip switches, I'm just going to upload the picture. I'm, I'm going to upload a circuit diagram too which is there on the website on Banggood. I'm just going to put that too on the description. You can watch them. So just put the dip switch there and I soldered all that to the metallic board over the transmitter. And then the antenna is just uh, the center of the coax wire goes to the antenna and then the and then split the outside uh, outside wire to two parts and connect it to the ground. Uh, I can upload another video of me making it if you guys really need it. So the two wires from from the positive and negative on the VTX goes to the goes to the polulu voltage out. You can see it here. So V out and ground, and then the voltage in what you supply from the one cell battery goes to the V in and ground again. Make sure you get the V in and V out right. And uh, there's a small potentiometer here, which you turn and set the voltage. You need to have a multimeter to check the output voltage and then just turn it until you get the desired voltage. So that's about it. And if you guys need another video of me making it, uh, please comment and I will do that. Bye.